Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a powerful astrological month without a doubt. I do think when we look back at 2020, June will stand out as an important time. Not only are we going to have an extended eclipse season, but powerful alignments some closures, some beginnings that ultimately speak to deeply important changes and lessons transpiring now. So let's start with the first of a rare three eclipses that is set to take place. So normally eclipse season is two weeks. It is the ancients who believe that the veil between the worlds was especially thin in the period between eclipses. This time we have an eclipse happening right around the 5th of June, another on June 21st and then the other will take place in July and I will talk about it as we go along but for now know that very early in the month we will enter eclipse season and be there right to the end of the month and into next and what that means is a greater ability to recognize the spiritual lessons playing out in your life that lunar eclipse happening on the fifth of the month is going to be part of what astrologers call a T-square. Now that is energy uh, that can be one of tension, but there's also tremendous motivation with this as well. It is across the sky from this lunar eclipse that we will have Venus retrograde, and it will also be Mars that is speaking with both of these placements. Venus retrograde and that lunar eclipse and that sets up this larger configuration it may very well be that patience is hard and I look at this for you with this lunar eclipse happening in a part of the sky connected to you being able to look at yourself more deeply you recognizing what needs to change what needs to stay what needs to go and you feeling a sense of awareness as to perhaps some deeper issues that have been there. This is the part of the sky that is connected to an energy of rebirth and that is part of what you are welcoming now. But it may not feel easy, especially considering that it is part of this larger T-square configuration. And it can be a time when you feel provoked in some way. Buttons can be pushed very easily now. And emotion and your psyche stirring and running very high. And so as much as you can, especially in the days leading up to this lunar eclipse, make sure you are being kind and gentle with yourself. Make sure you are holding spaces for yourself where you feel safe. Now this part of the sky is also connected to your ability to access financial resources. And a lot of us right now are looking to financial institutions, everything from grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, and benefits you may qualify for. It does look like there may be a very strong desire at this time to feel a sense of progress in this area. Now, one thing to know is when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. So that is something that you can hold on to. However, it can also be at this time when it feels like you have to do that much more. It feels even a little frustrating. But remember, again, the universe is on your side at this time to ensure that you have what it is that you need to help you to understand that the universe is generous and it has your back. But it does mean that when there are things for you to do, you show up, you do the best that you can, and you surrender the rest. And it also means that you may have to take continuous action, that it may not necessarily be from where you're expecting it, but the resources are there for you to cast your net wide, to have faith, and to continually take action, knowing that those resources that you're hoping for will find you. As we navigate later into the month, right around the 21st is when we will have the second eclipse this month. This second eclipse is a solar eclipse, which represents brand new beginnings and karmic events that put you on a new path. It is happening on the day of the summer solstice, 
which means that the sun in the northern hemisphere is that much more in its maximum power and maximum light. It is at this time that you may find yourself engaging others, whether it is spontaneously through communication. It can also be a time when it feels like you are getting information that feels karmic, whether it is through letters and documents, whether it is contracts showing up for you at this time. It can also be the case where it feels like things are moving very quickly with the opportunities coming into your life through a sibling, cousin, or neighbor. But here's something to keep in mind. It is just a couple of days before this eclipse that Mercury will go retrograde in the same part of the sky. And what that suggests is as much as solar eclipse are about the brand new and the very next thing, the fact that Mercury is retrograde, well, that suggests that it may very well feel as if it is reconnecting with people, as if you are getting a chance to resubmit documents, to have that conversation again. And it is this chance to look at, to consider, to ask again, that ultimately can help turn things in your favor. It is going to be just days after this eclipse that Venus is going to go direct. And of course, Venus has been retrograde in a financial part of the sky for you. And so it does look like there is some positive financial developments related to money you earn happening in the days following this solar eclipse. If all of that wasn't enough, we have powerful energy to finish off the month with Jupiter meeting Pluto in the sky. This is happening in fellow Earth sign Capricorn, and this is going to help you to reconfigure your relationship with the world in some meaningful way. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I do think that lunar eclipse early in the month may very well speak in the context of love because it has to do with knowing another person more deeply and it has to do with vulnerability, being honest with yourself. At the same time, late in the month, Venus going direct is going to help you to connect patterns of love to where you are in terms of self-love and self-esteem. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, that lunar eclipse can bring somebody into your life, uh, perhaps a friendship connection that may move very quickly and serve as a catalyst towards meaningful change, but there's not a lot of stick to energy here. But what I am seeing is that through a intimate experience, it serves as a moment of truth for you and helps you to realize more things in many areas of life. And ultimately this can be empowering. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I feel like you are going to glimpse some truth about this person. A friend may be involved in this, and it is ultimately what you see in this person now that's going to help you to decide whether or not you're moving forward. This is a very all or nothing kind of time. And for those of you in an established bond, some of that financial energy with the lunar eclipse early this month may play out in terms of your partner's income. You will find a way to navigate it. Outside of that, this can also be a time when it feels as if the two of you are wanting to work that much harder to maintain a deeper layer of connection, a deeper layer of commitment. If there have been any issues that you haven't wanted to look at in a while, do expect this lunar eclipse to stir a lot of them, to bring them to the surface. And ultimately it is a part of reaching that deeper understanding and affirming the bond. What I love about this month for you, well, I am going to say Venus direct because Venus is your ruling planet and Venus moving forward is going to help you to feel like you are finally ready to move forward as well. It is the sense of forward momentum that ultimately you can tap into and that ultimately is going to help to affirm healthy self-love, healthy self-value, which truly is one of the most precious inner resources you have. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.